What's up, y'all? It's your boy Leon and two cool. This is African Geek. Welcome to my channel. Just gonna dive right in. Titans pilot episode season one premiere. So fantastic, y'all. It's even it seems better than the Netflix series. I'm talking like budget wise and like story wise. Off the gate, is what I'm saying. Off the gate, cause Dead Devil is on another level right now. I'm not even gonna lie on that. Y'all, honestly, off the gate. Dick Grayson is my favorite character, need it be, because he was the one who shined the most throughout this whole episode. Starfire did have her amazing moments too, <laughs> like everybody shined, even Beast Boy in his last attempt at the end, stealing a video game <laughs> in tiger form, that was just so Beast Boy, I loved every second of it. I look forward to seeing more of these characters. From the cinematography, from the camera movement, from the editing, oh, the fight choreographs, like, it was kind of like, oh, that they gave us one, but I feel like they are going to give us more as the story progresses. This time was like a setup, like, the episode wasn't perfect because it was a setup, they were just showing you where everybody is at this particular moment, you know what I'm saying, giving you some context to what's been happening in their life except Starfire would have Nija. Damn she done lit everybody up in that scene. Let's talk about how brutal Robin is though. Dick was brutal. Y'all like he hates what he's becoming. He's becoming too much like Batman but damn he was on a roll in that like how I mean what was it called? <laughs> hallway? No, it's not a hallway. It's alleyway. Alleyways fight scene. Shows phenomenal, y'all. The color grading made um Rachel's hair pop. She's still Rachel, I'm gonna call her Rachel. Rachel hair is pop. Everybody in this cast is phenomenal from from just even the only person that had the iffiest acting was that gardener outside Rachel Rachel's house. Telling that the scream I'm gonna call the cops off like dude chill. You know what I'm saying? Not that his acting was bad, just that I was like, dude, chill. And <laughs> there's a little kid you talking to, calling him a freak and shit like that. Yeah, uh also that kid doing too far off the slut ish. I was like, yo, you don't like the shit. Now she a slut, that's some weird bullying. <laughs> anyway, I'm looking forward to see the story unfolds more, you know what I'm saying? The people tracking down uh, Rachel, the dick protecting Rachel, they're going to Hawk and Dove next, which is exciting. It's like four days away from me right now. I'm going to post this later, so be even closer. Ah, oh, man, that was just a phenomenal show. Like, if I should rank the characters, it would be like Dick, Starfire, Beast Boy, Rachel. Because Rachel is still like a scared kid who's scared of her powers. Her demon side is more interesting than her human side right now, honestly. But still phenomenal show. Great start to a season. Cinematography, color grading, fight choreograph, cast, writing. Oh, even the title sequence was just like, whoa, that's amazing. I just love that show. Yeah. Oh, like. You know what the show meets expectations that tops it? I'm excited. I wish it was Benjamin though. Shit. <laughs> oh, I so he did picky thing. Honestly, at overall, I was like, yes. So I wish I had all the episodes to just watch that one go. But I watched this for like 12, 13 weeks now. Which is cool. Which is cool. But, you know. It deserves to be banished. Hopefully next season they'll learn on some, you know, Marvel's Runaway thing and give us the whole season. Still phenomenal. Oh man, Dick Grayson is my favorite comic book character. Well, DC concern. Oh. And man, man, I was smiling every time he was on screen. Big ups to Brenton, the name. Anna, Brian, oh, I forgot the girl who plays Rachel's name, but her too. Big ups to everybody, like everybody shined. Oh, well done. This, 
This is the greatest Jeff Johns thing in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to hit that line at the end. Anyway, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Deuces. I give it a 9 out of 10.